Tonight we begin with the story of students doing the right thing. They did that right thing while riding a school bus yesterday. That's when they discovered one student had a gun. News Channel 9's John Madewell spent the day in Murray County. He picks up the story from there. John. Well, Calvin and Kim, the potential was there for a tragic ending. Now, the teenager had a, load, a loaded, sawed-off shotgun in his pants, but students, a bus monitor, and deputies all took action. A 16-year-old student took a back seat on the bus with this loaded, sawed-off shotgun stuffed in his pants. He's a student at Mountain Creek Academy, an alternative school in Eton. Sheriff Howard Inslee says from all indications, the student had the gun at school. Why is a big question. We don't, we don't know why. We don't know if he was just showing it or what. We don't know. The sheriff says the boy sawed off the barrel and stock. You can see it's about a foot long. On the bus, only a handful of students were on board. But some noticed the 20-gauge shotgun and told the bus monitor. That led to a call to deputies. They were waiting at Bagley Middle School, the next stop to pick up more kids. As the SRO, as, as Melissa Thurman was approaching, she said that one of the students said, I'll tell you where it is, and one of the other students says uh, the boy has it in the back of the bus. Deputies got students off the bus, then commanded the boy to raise his hands and not move. He obeyed. That's a volatile, very, very dangerous situation. Uh, we're just so thankful that no one got hurt, of course. Uh, I think everything was handled to, by the book. It was just everything was to the T. The news about the loaded shotgun on the bus traveled quickly. Josh Howell has two daughters in Murray's school system. Uh, it just really scares me to death. I mean, they are to be some kind of, uh, I don't know, metal detectors. I know we're a small county, but if we're going to pay tax dollars, it looks like we are to be spending something along them lines to protect our children. Murray County Schools issued a statement about this incident. They commended those who responded. Mike Tuck also says internally the matter will be investigated and the student will be dealt with under our code of conduct. Now, Mike Tuck also says under Georgia law, the student could face up to a one-year suspension. As for the investigation, Sheriff Inslee says the gun came from the boy's home, and they are tracking it to determine the owner. It does not appear stolen. Now, the teenager is in juvenile detention and scheduled for a court appearance tomorrow. Kim. John, thank you.